Good morning. My name is Karen Howe. I'm a physical therapist here in Eagle, Idaho. I own Howe Physical Therapy and I've been doing a series on gardening tips. Today I'd like to go through use of a shovel and a rake um, with some simple body mechanics and positioning um, information so that people can prevent getting injured while they're out there having fun in the yard. It's a nice sunny day so let's get started. First position the feet for a wider base, allowing legs to support your spine and upper body. Where you position your hands along the handle is up to you, as long as you remain upright and avoid stooping or bending through the spine. To fill up this planter, I have raised it up in my all-purpose five-gallon bucket. This way I don't have to stoop over it to see if I am aiming correctly. And no, these are not my usual gardening clothes. Use a wide and staggered standing position to give you power in both squat and lifting of the load you will have on the end of the shovel. The main principle behind safe, repetitious work is to move the feet. Keep facing the load, keep moving the feet, move the load wherever you want it to go. Walk, step, move. Notice that I am focusing on keeping my spine straight and position the weight of my body over my legs. I don't let my upper body drift ahead of my feet or off to the sides. Use the power of your legs for the majority of the movement. Even a little bend to the knees protects the back. Avoid the bend and twist. That's a sure way to end up with a back, neck, or shoulder strain by the time you have made those stressful movements multiple times. Now that I've made a mess with the shovel, let's move on to the rake. The raking motion is done by rocking through the legs. I keep the upper body stable, secure the arms, and by shifting the weight back and forth, I can move the ground material easily. Just keep it in line with your body. So again, move the feet, dance around the area you are working on, and keep your stance wide for support. This is often a difficult movement for some people at first because they really want to use arms and back to attack the work. Reaching out to drag it by force. Move the legs and use the power muscles in your legs. This way, you exercise the proper muscle groups and when finished, you can sit back, feel good, and not in pain. It really is much easier on all of you to make these more direct movements instead of keeping your feet planted and awkwardly reaching and straining all around you, using the arms and back. Pace your time to avoid fatigue, and of course drink plenty of water in this heat. I hope these tips have been helpful. Please feel free to contact me if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session for body mechanics and ergonomic training for injury prevention in your yard, home, or office. Best wishes in health.